The first major winter storm of 2013 is sweeping across the Northeast. New England is expected to get the worst of that storm. Actually, two storms, which forecasters predict will combine to create a blizzard of historic proportions. A blizzard warning stretches from New Jersey and New York City north through Maine, with snowfall estimates ranging from a few inches in Philadelphia to more than three feet in some parts of New England. The storm also carries the risk of coastal flooding in areas still recovering from Superstorm Sandy. Hopefully it won't be anything drastic and it's certainly not going to be a Hurricane Sandy. But that doesn't mean you can't get uh, badly hurt or, or killed if you're not careful. Amtrak has also suspended train service in the Northeast and suburban rail lines in New York, Connecticut and Boston will be limiting service. But you don't have to live in that part of the country to have a storm effect, a storm effect rather, your travel plans. More than 3,000 flights have already been canceled. And we can take you anywhere with our weather computer. And we are on the East Coast where it's just a mess here. Boston getting the worst of it now. More snow on the way, maybe another two feet in spots. For us, our concern is the grapevine. Will it open later tonight by midnight? Maybe because the snow is kind of tapering down as we speak. However, the traffic in this area is going to be bad, so just use your patience traveling. Tomorrow morning looks like the better chance to go. Picture time. This is from Pine Mountain Club looking toward Sawmill Mountain. And you can see that they've got snow on all their rooftops. This was taken right around 4 o'clock. Uh, there's Cuddy Valley looking east through Pine Mountain Club into the mountains that you can't see because of the cloud and the snow deck. All right, winter weather advisory. It's on until 3 a.m. tomorrow morning. So that means the weather service also believes that the snow will taper off by the time we get past midnight. But then again, you don't want to be on this road past midnight. Just go in the morning if you have to go at all. Live at Tehachapi, where 58 is dead clear. Not a thing going on there. Maybe some light rain, but the temperature is cold enough to support snow. It's at 32 now. The wind's gusty to 22 miles per hour. It feels like 21 degrees in the wind. Okay, 28 for Lebec and Fraser Park. That's where the snow is. 46 where we are. And 45 in Bakersfield uh, to Porterville, sorry. There's the low. It's moving right through us. And as it does so, it really turns the clouds around in a circular motion. You can see that. But for us, it's just been scattered showers. That's it. So as you travel tomorrow morning, not tonight, down south or north, you're going to be fine. But the sun will be out finally, but it's going to be a cool Saturday and gradual warming through Sunday and into the beginning of next week. 60 for Santa Barbara with afternoon sunshine. The rain should come to an end in the morning. Pismo Beach only gets to 56. And as we go further south to Los Angeles and Disneyland, upper 50s area-wide with rain overnight. The grapevine remains closed. We'll update you again tonight at 11 o'clock. We'll keep tracking the progress of that mess down south. Palm Springs hits 60 and only 58 for San Diego, but sunshine in the afternoon. For us, most locations will top 50, and we'll get to 53 in Bakersfield, 54 in Wasco, and around 50 in Portable with a northwest wind at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mountain numbers tonight below freezing, so watch out for snow possible at Lake Isabella and in Glenville as well, where they already had snow today, and there were hail reports in Visalia and Tulare this afternoon. West winds, though, at 15 to 20 miles per hour. In the deserts, it'll be a cold overnight and a cool Saturday with highs only into the 50 degree range. So bundle up. Low tonight, 35, 50% chance of some light rain. Winds northwest at 10 to 15 miles per hour, tapering off later on tonight once we get past midnight. Tomorrow's high, 53, turning partly cloudy by the afternoon, a northwest wind at 5 to 10. China Peak got 8 inches of snow, roughly 9 inches at the top. So all lifts are open and all runs are open as well. All right. Our valley forecast, the weekend is here, and it will be nice. It'll just be cool for this time of year. Highs in the low and mid-50s, rebounding into the 60s next week for the Kern River Valley. Temperatures will be around 46 for tomorrow, and that snow level around 3,000 feet. Keep that in mind. And just carry your chains if you are doing mountain travel, because it will be cold enough to keep that snow on the ground overnight. And, and it's, 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 ra it's raining, raining in downtown. Very hard down. There we go. All right. Thanks, Colin. Good timing.